What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Super Mario Bros. 3 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. In the last part, we did Worlds 1 and 2 because I thought I could do a twofer in terms of worlds. In this part, we're going to do World 3. And this is the point where, like, the worlds actually start to get longer. Now, you can actually get that flower. I would recommend either flower or the frog suit for water levels because you can, like... Uh, even though, like, it totally kills a lot to throw fire underwater, but, like, uh, for enemies to fire underwater, but, like, uh... Anyway, so, uh... Anyway, so, um, we're going to... lose the fire flower, and the last enemy, yeah, with that. We get the star, and, uh... Now, uh, kind of an interesting story about, uh, 3-2. Whenever I think of 3-2, like, many years ago with, like, the Runaway guys, the, like, Chugger Conroy had never beaten Mario 3 before prior to this, prior to their playthrough. And, like, uh, basically, like, uh, they gave him, like, the frog, they gave, like, they took turns basically doing stages, and, like, uh, they gave Chugger Conroy the frog, Emil the frog suit. <laughs> And, like, he went into the stage, like, immediately fell in the water, then panicked, and then, like, then just hot, speed hopped across the stage. Like, I think that's, like, one of my favorite moments, like, any Mario 3 playthrough. I'm like, it's, like, something I've never been able to... I've tried that method before, I've just, I've never been able to recapture it. I think I'm gonna use my good luck charm slow mechanic, and we get, we get three stars. Sometimes it's a good luck charm, I don't run and just walk slow. You can just, like, either way, just, it's easy to get the star. Anyway, let's test our memory. Okay, the, the star was... over here. No, it wasn't. I keep getting the fucking 20 coins. It's not the Toad House. If you enter this with a Fire Flower, the fire the fireballs will be green. Let's see if we can attack Toad. Why aren't you dying? Why aren't you dying? I mean, this to this uh, Toad has the guaranteed frog suit. Anyway, so uh, we already have uh, we have two we have two full inventory slots. Be careful though; you get four inventory slots, and uh, if you use up all of them, like uh, you're it, the four, the last one your inventory will be replaced by uh, the item you get. So like, uh, be careful on that. Maybe if you get, maybe you get full. Maybe clip. Maybe use like some stars to clear up some inventory space. And wow, I'm getting some slowdown. That's common in any SAR game. It's really common. Like older games in general have slowdown. This is one of the big Bertha stages. I, I think this is the last hard one of the big Bertha stages. The big Bertha eats you though, it's instant death. We get the star. My goal in every playthrough was to get like 99 lives at some point. I didn't get it in the last playthrough, but uh... Now, interestingly enough, is uh... If you know which door to go in, you can end the stage in like 10 seconds. Like, we go in the uh... We go in the sixth door right here. And if you have fireball, it's even easier. We're, we're gonna end the stage in like 15 seconds. Yeah, 15 seconds exactly. We ended the stage in 15 seconds. All right, we're gonna try more slot luck. Let's get the mushroom. Can I at least get two smiley faces? I have two smiley faces. I'm the happiest man on earth. Yeah, so, uh... We get the hammer. Um, there are two possible ways you can use this hammer. Now, interestingly enough, that one thing I never point out. If you never use the hammer in World 2, you can use that to get the slot game. I'd prefer just to get the frog suit over the uh, slot game. Now, I believe uh, it's this pipe you can take. Oh, actually, it's, no, it's not that pipe. It's this pipe. If you get a game over, you can just take this pipe and just go back to the other side. 
And uh, I'll point out where to, uh, you can't be game over there. We're going to do stage four. Anyway, so I did not make that jump. There's going to be a one-up over here, but uh, the question is if we're going to get it. Yeah, yeah, it's going left. So let's just uh, let's just dodge the Lakitu and get a star. Yep. Now uh, I could use the frog suit. Uh, actually, using the frog suit uh, gives us a seat. Could give us a secret in this level. Let's just go for it. I'm trying to remember where the secret is. Like, uh, there's one pipe in this level you can only go into with a frog suit. Is it this one? No, it's not. Okay, we gotta dodge the blooper, though. Yeah, the frog suit definitely makes swimming a lot easier. You can just uh, swim in any direction. Is it- I think it's this one, yeah. Make sure you go to the right. You get three one-ups. Yeah, nice little trick from the pros, though I'm definitely not a pro at this game. I'm- I definitely consider myself ex I've, I've maybe beaten this game maybe a couple dozen times over the years. The any- I've mainly just played the All-Stars port. Let's see if we can get three stars. I'm just gonna go slow for a good luck charm. Nope. <laughs> no. We see 25 lives. Now the question is, uh... Now, uh, we can actually use the hammer right here and just get up, get on this raft. Now, it isn't the I never knew prior to, uh, doing the practice playthrough. You can actually, uh, go in these, go in these little shallow areas with the raft. I never knew that prior to doing the practice playthrough. Though, you can't really, like, skip to, like, stage 8, so, like, there's really not much of a point. Anyway, so we're gonna try our slot lock. Come on, can we get the mushroom? Mushroom's easy. I... I get a star with the hat. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get that mushroom. Nope, too late. We got a flower with the hat. I don't remember which one of these houses. One of these houses is a guaranteed frog suit. Yeah, it's this one with the guaranteed frog suit. I'm just in the next stage with the frog suit, like, lose it in the first enemy. I probably will, though. Because, like, frog suits are only for, like, oh, I got another frog suit. And even and even better, if we go over uh, here. Now, in the Japanese version, you actually whistle on the platform, and, like, uh, you can, like, uh, go to the sub area and, like, go in the water in that, like, area. I don't get three frog suits, though. Now, let's see how I do in a platforming level with the frog suit. I'm probably gonna lose it in, like, one of the first enemies. Because the frog suit's not for platforms. Plus, I think they're stage an auto-scroller, so I'm, that's double, like... Oh, it's not even, like, a stage. It's a hammer of the stage. Yeah, I'm gonna lose it in a hammer of the stage. Yeah, I, lose, I lost my hammer brother. Okay, at least I don't have to do an auto scroll with the frog suit. And we go to this mushroom house right here. We got another frog suit! <laughs> How many frog suits do we have? It's uh, one, two, we have four frog suits plus the one we used. I'm gonna use a flower. Maybe I should use Leaf because this is an auto scroller. Auto scrollers, like, uh, I guess this is one thing I don't like about Mario 3. It introduced the auto scroller, which auto scrolling stages are like my least favorite parts of 2D Mario.
Yeah, we're gonna go do this. And, uh... I don't know what I was mumbling about with this. So, uh, we're going to only get a pity coin out of that. I think if you, uh... I think there's a one-up. Can it go right? Yes, it went right! Have we missed it? No, fuck. Except you can just bounce off the Koopa and screw that stupid platform. This is gonna- this is the game- when the game starts getting tricky with the platforming. Yeah, I kinda just walk slow as a good luck charm. Now we have the option of going to stage 7 or stage 8, but stage 8's a big Bertha level, so we're just gonna go the normal way. And we lose the flower. See if we can, like... Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, uh, where does that projector out goes? I think it's a uh, coin bonus if you go up here. Yeah, it is. I'm a good coin bonus. That's a lame coin bonus. I don't like that. That was like 10 coins. Though I, they could go to a one up, so you never know. Alrighty, so more cards. So we're gonna remember where that damn mushroom was. It was like, okay, 10 coins. No. Let's try a different card. Okay, the mushroom was... Finally, we got something! We got Pity Mushroom. I could've used the frog suit in here. I wanna use the frog suit, like, uh, in the most absurd scenarios. It's fun to try to do an airship with the frog suit. Well, I haven't even tried, like, the final level in the game with the frog suit. Never beaten it, though. I've done the only one of the the three suits in this game I've ever done Bowser on was with the Tanuki suit. I don't even know what the hammer of the suit because like you'll show later, but like the hammer of the suit is the suit we can get later in the game, and uh, you can straight up insta kill Bowser with that. And so we get uh even Boom Boom flies like it's just easy as hell. Cause like you jump on once, he just never recovers. All right, so here we go. We're gonna line up the pieces and get a. Uh... So we're gonna fuck it up once again. Yay! I probably should have ended. I probably should have got a flower lander. This is another one of those stages where you can get a white toad house. So, uh, definitely get all the coins in this level. Yeah, you can kind of see occasional glitches because it's an NES area game. There's another reason I decided to not play on my NES. I don't want, I don't want game glitches. Because, like, that's another reason the NES is my most neglected system, is because, like, you boot up a cartridge. I, Everdrive is different, but if you boot up a standard cartridge, like you're not, if it's not deep cleaned, like fucking like fairy dust, like it'll glitch. We killed that plant. I was a little concerned. I was gonna end up fish bait. This isn't where I know I don't personally think it's too hard to get all the coins. It might be for a first timer. Cause like uh one thing I do like about Switch Online, even though it's like not very like it's kind of subpar at best, like um it does give people who are currently playing the Switch, because like the Nintendo Switch, like, since we're kinda near the end of its lifespan, the Nintendo Switch, like, um, kind of gate is kind of like, um, 
I should say one thing about the Nintendo Switch is uh, there de- it is like it definitely gave like Nintendo a lot of like new, a new audience, a uh, brand new audience. Cause like um, when it came to like the Wii U, like there was like the cringe ads. Cause like um, I would say before the Switch era, like um, definitely the case with the Wii U era. During the Wii U era, like Nintendo was like not cool to like, like in any way, shape, or form. Like um. I say this as someone who was a Nintendo fan during the Wii U era, but, like, um... I would say the Switch, they definitely t- got a lot of older... Because, like... I'd say, like, um, the Switch, like... The Switch is kind of interesting, because, like, they've gotten a lot of older people... They've gotten a lot of, like, people, like... They're, like, not children playing the Switch, but at the same time, like, a lot of those children, like, probably were kids during, like, the NES or Super Nintendo era, so, like, um... Yeah, like, I think Nintendo's kind of finally realized that, like, their audience, you know, their core audience, like, no longer consists of, like, children, like it used to be. I don't know, that's just my interpretation. Anyway, there's another one of those stages you can one-up farm. Just get the Koopa Shell, go over here. Just kind of, like, get the Bob bomb out of the way. Just kind of walk left and right. This is kind of one of those stages you can farm one-ups. 1,000, 2,000, 4,000. 8,000, one up, one up, one up, one up, one up, one up. I'm not gonna do this for too long. Maybe when it gets to like 200 seconds, I'll do it. I'll stop it. But you can get a lot of fucking lives in this level. Yeah, so we'll stop at 75. We got 77 along the way. Yeah. And we're gonna get yet another one up. Yeah, you can easily just one up farm in this level if you know what you're doing. That one up did not go to draw, it went to draw distance. Now, if you go left, you can actually get a frog suit. And uh, let's can do this. Actually, no, I'm just gonna end the stage. Because I don't. Anyway, so, uh, anyway, so, uh, here's the, uh, third of the airship levels. Oh, it's terrible. The king has been transformed. Please find the magic wand so we can change him back. Anyway, so, uh, I would say of the, uh, Koopalings, um... This is one of the airships that takes a little step up in difficulty, like, um... I've- because, like, when I first got to this airship on the, uh, GBA port, I definitely died to it a decent amount of times. So I would say, if you think the, uh, I definitely had a significant a- advantage with the GBA port being the first port that I played. If you think, like, Mario 3 in itself hands lives like candy, like, um, the GBA port even more so. Hands lives like candy. And even that, like, uh, you can get over... The cap is 99 lives, but not in the GBA port. Let's see. I take that back with the uh, definitive version of the Super Mario All-Stars port. Maybe I might have bias as I grew up with that port, but, like, uh, the GBA port, I think I might find to be the definitive port... Anyways, so this is Wendy. This is a Koopaling I have never liked because you have to avoid both her and her rings. Now, uh, this is another Koopaling. This is one the first of the Koopaling that's based on a musician because um, a lot of the Koopalings are based on musicians because with Wendy O. Koopa being based off of punk singer Wendy O. Williams. Well, this particular king looks a lot like Mario.
And we get a music box, which silences the uh, hammers. How, let's see how many items we got. One, two, three. We have three inventory slots. And I'm going to cut off for this part of um, Super Mario Bros. 3. So, next time, Super Mario Bros. 3, we'll do World 4.